Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nikki Haley just ended IT for everyone who's against the U.S. in one swift, torching move. Nikki Haley had a blunt answer for Brett Byer when he asked about Trump's worldview toward the United Nations. Haley spoke with Byer in a wide-ranging interview Wednesday on Fox News. Haley has been an outspoken ambassador for the United States to the UN body, regularly sparring with representatives from other nations and threatening bad actors. Byer asked Haley what Trump intended to tell the world governing body in his address next week. Next week, at the United Nations Assembly, the president will deliver a speech, Byer asked, what's the main message in not only his speech but on the meetings that he will have on the side. Haley began by listing off a number of administration foreign policies including tough stances on Iran and North Korea. If you look at what, Trump's, done with North Korea, it's really led the international community to isolate North Korea, Haley said, he led on pulling out of the Iran deal. It's forcing the entire world to admit that Iran was not behaving properly. He's led in Syria to make sure chemical weapons aren't being used and he is warned against being used again. Haley then declared that America is through engaging with nations that hate us. We're not going to support dictators, we are no longer going to give money to people who are against the U.S. or say death to America. Or do anything that would be anti-U.S. Haley bluntly said. We are now going to strategically start to work with our friends and there are no longer going to be handouts for those that go against us, Haley forcefully said. The threat was not a hollow one either. This week, the Trump administration decided to close down the Palestinian Liberation Office in Washington, D.C., and severely cut aid to Palestine. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.